Yechez Ke'el Ezekiel 17. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, put forth a riddle, and speak a parable unto the house of Yashra'el, and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, A great eagle with great wings, long-winged, full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon, and took at the highest branch of the cedar, Eth he cropped off the top of his young twigs and carried it into a land of traffic. He set it in a city of merchants. He took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful field. He placed it by great waters and set it as a willow tree. And it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature whose branches turned toward him, and the roots thereof were under him. So it became a vine, and brought forth branches, and shot forth sprigs. There was also another great eagle with great wings and many feathers. And behold, this vine did bend her roots toward him, and shot forth her branches toward him, that he might water it by the furrows of her plantation. It was planted in a good soil by great waters, that it might bring forth branches, and that it might bear fruit, that it might be a goodly vine. Say you, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, shall it prosper? Shall he not pull up at the roots thereof, and cut off at the fruit thereof, that it wither? It shall wither in all the leaves of her spring, even without great power or many people, to pluck it up by the roots thereof. Yea, behold, being planted, shall it prosper? Shall it not utterly wither when the east wind touches it? It shall wither in the furrows where it grew. Moreover, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Say now to the rebellious house, Know ye not what these things mean? Tell them, Behold, the king of Babel is come to Jerusalem, and has taken up the king thereof, and hath the princes thereof, and led them with him to Babel, and has taken of the king's seed, and cut a covenant with him and has taken an oath of him. He has also taken at the mighty of the land, that the kingdom might be base, that it might not lift itself up, but that by guarding of at his covenant it might stand. But he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Mitzrayim, that they might give him horses and much people. Shall he prosper? Shall he escape that does such things? Or shall he break the covenant and be delivered? As I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, surely in the place where the king dwells that made him king, and at whose oath he despised, and at whose covenant he broke, even with him in the midst of Babel he shall die. Neither shall Pharaoh with his mighty army and great company Make for him in the war by casting up mounts and building forts to cut off many persons. Seeing he despised the oath by breaking the covenant, when lo, he had given his hand and has done all these things, he shall not escape. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, As I live, Surely my oath that he has despised, and my covenant that he has broken, even it will I recompense upon his own head. And I will spread my net upon him, and he shall be taken in my snare. And I will bring him to Babel, and will plead with him there for his transgression, 
that he has transgressed against me, and if all his fugitives with all his bands shall fall by the sword, and they that remain shall be scattered toward all winds. And ye shall know that I, Yahuwah, have spoken it. Thus says Adonai, Yahuwah, I will also take of the highest branch of the high cedar and will set it. I will crop off from the top of his young twigs a tender one and will plant it upon a high mountain and eminent. In the mountain of the height of Yashadael will I plant it, and it shall bring forth bows and bear fruit and be a goodly cedar, and under it shall dwell all fowl of every wing, in the shadow of the branches thereof shall they dwell. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, Yahuwah, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I, Yahuwah, have spoken and have done it.